All right, welcome back to another famous a home of the purple pill conversations. Please make sure to hit the like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Audi. That's Vinny. That is Ro. And we are never famous. So today we we get into a conversation about Lil Nas X. Um, he put out a, a new song titled J Christ, and I thought it was like a real mockery of of uh, Christ, obviously. So I, I just wanted to get Jesus. into the conversation. I can take it in many different directions. Which way do we want to go? With? I have yet to hear the song, to be honest. And yeah, that's why I think it's gonna it's gonna be hard for us to to get into it without reacting to. You can just watch the, the actual video. You haven't to seen the, video. the video. No, I'm gonna pull it up. But I can tell you some I could, some I things about. Just it so the he's way I talked about it. He he's basically in a video twerking and shit. He walling out. He got on. He's. Got like a cheerleading outfit on. I don't that, uh, want to see he's, it, playing, he's playing. He's playing one on one. Okay, not. You could he just talk about. No, it. no, you got to watch it because there's more stuff to it. He's playing one on one against the devil, and the devil's wearing, the devil's wearing uh, his Nike shoes. Like, uh, the you remember the, the shoes they put out that got the that had the blood in them? Yeah. Or whatever. Well, you know, remember it's gonna mess up the. I'm just gonna. I'm. A, I'm. A, I'm gonna turn off the sound because you can literally use a little bit of visuals of this. Cause, yeah, it's really about the. It's and I'm just about gonna the play visuals. So yeah, I just I thought it was a little it was super flagrant and how I'm I, I'm the first one to call out when I see the support of of like these artists supporting the devil I'm the very first one to call it out. Um, so when I see this shit like because even even this part like it's it's too this much crazy. Yeah, like I I don't I don't see the art in this. I'm not, I never see the art in in and adding religion to the to this kind of music if it's not like a. If you're not making Christian rap or whatever, like Christian nah, rap, gospel, doing, whatever uh, kind of music you're doing. No, yeah. like in this video, it's not even that. I think he is 100% making a mockery of religion and using the the realm of art as that filter for him to be able to do it. But what is funny is that right now in media, and is happening right in front of our faces, and, and like if you don't start speaking up about it and kind of like exposing it uh, and start su stop supporting people like this, it won't stop because I think this is what they want. They want to drive more and more people away from Christianity. And we kind of have allowed it to happen uh, because if this had been any other religion, uh, like Jewish people would have been crazy about it. If this had been a Muslim, uh, talking about Muslim or Muhammad or something along those lines, everybody would have been complaining and gone crazy about it too. So I think this is one of those topics where, Christians, one, would probably be in too accepting of people making a mockery of the religion. And number two, he's done this before already, where he kind of played the part of the devil or something along those lines. And he knew that stirred the pot. And I think in order to get some type of relevancy quickly, he knows this is a button that I can just go ahead and press. And I'm quickly going to get a reaction. And it's ridiculous. It's sickening. Man. But it, yeah, you're gonna get a reaction, but it's not like, it's not a, it's not a real following. It's not a, you're not picking. It's like it's not a legit thing. Like, like, you, like you're saying it doesn't last, kind of thing. Yeah, like I don't, I don't see the art in this. True. I don't think that's true because I think right now we're playing into a part where, especially younger generation right now, don't necessarily follow religion as much, if at all. And their religion has thought, has become the identity of some of the political issues that people have been pushing, a lot of the woke agendas and so on. And if you think of Little Nas X, he fits into at least five or six of those buckets, depending on how you break them down. So he's just feeding to that religion that's very anti some of the traditional values that's been held. Some of the Judeo-Christian values that technically created America got it to the point that it is today. And... There's young people that probably will praise him for doing that, and they can easily lean into this is art. And I think this is an easy way to create even an easier way to bring division for the long term. Because I think people, I, I would say, our generation and lower can be easily influenced into not respecting an institution anymore. And this is a way of to start bringing away from that institution of Christianity. I'm trying to even make it almost like a normal thing. I forgot what video I was watching, but they were saying that America right now, like we're pretty much doing bad in that area with having uh, believers. 
there's more believers in other countries or something like that. Oh, we got believers. Should, pull, pull that uh that video up right there. You might as well get it. Yeah, yeah, because that's that's a perfect segue from what well, you just well, said. We got believers. We just don't have believers that 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 are they're believing being pushed in, to the forefront. No, they're believing in other shit. They're just not believing in God or religion. They're not believing in positive stuff, but they're definitely believing on the LGBTQ plus whatever any other letters are missing agenda. There's many people that believe that. There's many people that believe the. Uh, whether it is feminism, the new wave of feminism, and that's become their identity, uh, the victim and victimhood mentality, that's a new thing. Globalism and having like one world order, that's a whole new belief system. And this is the new. So watch this. This is a quick 18 seconds. I think this is a great example of how they are. This is like doing M- it right NBC, in front of I believe. Yeah. So this is an NBC kind of coverage. I mean, your first NFL season and a record setting performance response. for you. What does this moment mean? I mean, it's been amazing being in this city for as short as I've been. But Did you catch anything wrong with what he said? Being as short. Well, Nothing wrong. He just gave you an answer, right? Now, we're going to play the, the original response. First and foremost, I just want to give all glory and praise my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I mean, it's been amazing. Being- wow. So and that's the kind of shit that you when they they try to kill me in the comments from saying that Doja Cat shit was was blatant bullshit, blatant devil worship in the videos, and it's like they're blatant. Well, they're trying to hide when people are are, are trying to support God and positive messages. They, it's, it's always pushed down. That's it's crazy. hidden. Crazy, yeah. This is the this is part of the agenda, bro. They just they want to take religion out of every. I mean, they took religion out of a lot of things now. Like schools don't even. Uh, um, schools don't even uh, uh, Bosa sing the national anthem. Well, that has nothing to do with religion at that point. That that's like community type shit. That's more. Uh, that's like like uh, I'd say like America, uh, democracy, like an American pride kind of thing. Which well, I agree. I, that, I don't think that's that's religion, but I do think that that's that's along the same lines of the things that they're trying to take out, like away from people. And I think one of these things is the simple aspect of him saying. That he thanks uh, his Lord and Savior Jesus Christ in in a very simple way, like it wasn't something he's trying to shove something down your throat. It's because you know he can potentially start to have influence on younger people, and they can potentially start viewing as like, oh, he he views uh, religion as a way to maybe pursue a certain path in life, and he can open the eyes of some people to start thinking about it for themselves or start exploring the idea or going to church or something just because they're seeing other people in their young age doing so. And the fact that you have an entire media outlet that is willing to go and chop it up in this way is ridiculous. And it's not like, I, I get it if they would have made the argument, oh, he went into a prayer for like a full minute. We didn't have enough airtime, whatever. I get it. They literally chopped up like a second and a half. It wasn't like a, like not even. I, I don't even think it took a second and a half of, of, of like, so it was something that you know that was, was intentional. Big job. That was a big job. But like, I did hear an argument about this, which I was. Oh, it was the Pledge of Allegiance, not the National Anthem. Which that. was interesting to, <laughs> well, that's still going to the flag, not not a religious thing. Well, under, one nation under God kind of no. thing. I think, what you, I think what you're trying, you, you're, you're saying, like, you guys are on the same, you guys are connected. You got to find, like, that middle, because like, you're, what you're saying is that it, I get what you're saying that the America was built on these the, on these um the Very foundation Christian values. Yeah, that's yeah. that's what that's what you're trying to say. Yeah. That's what they say in the constitution and all that. So I see where the, where the connection is. But that's a big job, bro. That that's Well, then you also have which I thought was a valid point. I heard somebody make a point of if you really think about it, would you think this is something that NBC pushed to edit out or do you think the NFL pushed to edit that out? Oh, that's a good question. That's good. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it was the NBC because a lot of this stuff is controlled, and they all have this. They all have the same agenda. I feel like I wouldn't be surprised if it's both parties really in agreement to such. I think. I think it depends. Well, coming off the little Nas X conversation, I'm like, man, I think that like it, it, it's it's kind of what you said that it's show it's as cj stroud is showing a, a different path of like you can follow christ and you can do these things in a positive light and manner and you can see how far you get like this is rookie year he's had he's probably gonna win rookie of the year he's had a great year this was after a big playoff win that they were they were like a 10 15 point underdog and they and they won that game by a, a lot they smoked the uh, uh the browns so 
it's like he's showing like a positive, a positive path. And they do that to to a lot of athletes when they when they they praise Allah, they praise Christ, they pray whoever that they they feel like is a positive God. I feel, I feel like since these similar narratives are pushed. But uh, to answer your question, um, I I, th- I would go NBC because I don't I don't think that NFL has a, a reason to to not want to. I'm a, now this is not necessarily what I believe, but I'm a, I'm gonna try to go devil's advocate, literally, in this conversation. <laughs> Uh, but if you think about it, what day of the week are usually football games? Sunday. Sunday. I, I've heard. I've heard this. Is like so that kind of concept is something to think about. It's like there's people that probably don't go to church and they spend time watching football games. Yeah. So it's kind of like this incentives. That's like, more their religion. From a business perspective, is the NFL benefiting from trying to keep some people? Hey, don't go to church because I need you to. Come of course they are. I'm play no, other something I'm, like that. Of I'm course add they on are. To that, what you were saying, but. Sunday's not the only day that you can go to church, though. And Sunday's not the only day that the NFL is played. Yeah. As as like the years continue to go to so go on, like they devil's, start they start having kind of they're starting to play. I think what I think it initially started as Sundays because I get I get that point, but that might be from a point that somebody doesn't really like watch football like that. I think that it started out as on Sundays because that's a day that everybody's home, and then there's like contractual shit where they couldn't play on Christmas, they couldn't play on certain on certain holidays because of like NBA's uh, stuff yeah. and all, and all that kind of shit. They didn't play every day of the week. They they early in the year they don't play on Saturdays because they don't want to compete with college football. So you get what I'm saying. So there's 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 different things, but they do play on Mondays. They play on Thursdays later in the year. Now they're playing Saturdays. So, so I think still they're predominantly gonna, Sundays. Yes, Most per, games yeah, happen on a Sunday. Yeah, they do. But I think this they happen at different times. They have that. There's nine a.m. games now. If they play overseas, they have one seven four. They have a whole bunch of different time slots. So you can go to church, and there's different days a week you can go to church. There's not only one day for anything at this point. All I'm gonna say is, don't. Honestly, dude, I wouldn't even consume mainstream media. Like, I kind of peek at it for like little things. I don't believe most of the stuff that comes in any news outlet outlet is fact. It's probably not complete, and they're chopping up or twisting the narrative as well, proven time and time hear. again. So, especially if you're young and it's easy for you to just quickly be like, "Oh, let me go watch what's on Fox or CNN or NBC, whoever you want to call." They all have a bit of a bias, and you know they're all going to lean somewhere. Uh, learn to think and explore ideas for yourself and learn how to research certain things for yourself. Like if one of these things you hear it and it's something that's so subliminal, because I feel like a, a quick interview like this, you would just listen to it and not even notice it. It may not even seem like it was edited. And I the didn't same, keep it. Same thing with the little Nas X video. It's like they're legit putting it, making a mockery of religion in your face. This is just a way to get you accustomed to the idea that Jesus is something that you can play around with. This is something to get you accustomed to the idea that God is something you don't need to fear. Uh, This is something to get you accustomed to the idea that you can literally play with God and it will have no repercussions. Anybody that believes that, that's sad. That's very sad. I think, though... as As a firm believer, Jesus Christ, you do not play with him. At all, and you, the fear of God does something different for you. It it's really bad. does. But anybody who believes that, man, and it's sad because I feel like a lot of people are on that type of mindset that you just pretty much broke down, which is sad. Well, that's what's being yeah. fed down their faces. I yeah, think, I think like, there's a there's a difference. I, I, there's though. people that that feed into it, and they they like there's some there's some of us that can just see that and like whoa, you know what I mean? Get away from that, not even entertain it, but. With like the little Nas X stuff. With the little Nas X stuff. But I still yeah. think that they should still consume the the news. I think that that with the content and the entertainment stuff, like how he's saying with the little Nas X shit, I never listen to this shit. I seen this shit trending, like I, I and I'm like, oh, and I and I and I read about what it was because because of, of obviously what we're doing here. But any like I'm not ever listening to the song ever again. I listened to it one time, seen it. Whatever, that's it. No, but it's just sad to see that there's actually there's people that actually try to that there's people that actually consume it. Well, yeah, because I mean they're gonna be and, people and, that consume and get, it but. and get um. Uh, what's the word? Influenced by it. Like, there's yeah. people that actually find that at an influence. Well, I don't think it's necessarily because they're intentionally going and seek it with malicious intent. I think we started to be programmed to be like, oh, it's not a big deal. So to them, that's just their norm. This is what's coming on their timeline. This is what you're seeing. Um, and you don't get to control that. And that is playing 
with the way you think in your mind. So try to challenge. This is this is what happens when you're not close to God and think yourself on your own. But you're not gonna get somebody to get closer to God by shaming them, which is the the quick thing to do. And what most people try to do when they are like very strong believers of God is that they will automatically lean to shaming someone for not doing someone for not doing what they do. And well, I don't no, think that's not that's not shaming. That's the actual truth. Like, is it, you, but you're saying that in a tone of shaming, and it may not be no. coming across. But I think it's important to also get an understanding of like, I don't blame, especially a young person that follows Lil Nas X, where everything they've consumed for most of their youth is something along those lines, and it maybe started with a very very hint of what it was, and now is getting so in your face that they don't even realize that they've been programmed to follow mm-hmm. that path. Mm-hmm. You get what I mean? Yeah. And at the end of the day, it's almost like a new form of religion, believe it or not. Because at the end of the day, it's the same thing with religion. I think most religions, whether you're uh, depending any aspect of Christianity, Catholic, anything, you're as a human, you're being programmed by it in some way. And I think that just comes with being a human. And part of that programming can have very good values and can lead to very great things and good behaviors and maybe extremely rewarding down the line. And so I acknowledge the fact that you're being programmed in some way or another. Do I believe some programming is better than others? I, I happen to believe so. I do think that going the path of God, religion, or something organized that's kind of giving you a path of guidance for good moral values and a good path in life is much better than you can get to wonder on your own and try things and be very about being selfish. But the only way you can bring somebody closer to God is by trying to get them to experience him in some way or almost let them find their own way to it. But I don't think you do so by shaming. Shaming can, can work in certain aspects of it. But for from a perspective of most people that are probably reluctant to religion, it's due to the fact that Somebody who's religious can easily go to the shame path. Yeah, to try to no, push but it I out. definitely, it definitely wasn't shaming. But it's having good discernment too can help you in these areas too. To try and um, avoid these worldly things, having good discernment helps in that. Yeah, but I get it. You, but you get that once you found it and once you've been in it. So, so like you got to find. You can start with even something as simple as. The way we're calling it out is something necessarily positive and negative, and it's not a full-blown, I'm preaching to you from the Bible as to what you should do, which is what I think the first reaction most religious people will want to do. But rather say, it's like, hey, like you're almost doing your own form of religion. You're just having a much more negative impact, and you don't even realize it because you don't even know who you, you are worshiping. Or in theory, I think Little Nas X knows who he is wor- worshiping, but I think his followers do not know who they're supporting yeah. by supporting his music. This has been Never Famous. We appreciate y'all for tuning in. Please hit the like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.